माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग दिस इज दीपक कुमार एंड एंड दिस ऑडियो कंटेंट इज रिलेटेड टू टू द सेकेंड दिस इज द सेकेंड लेक्चर ऑफ द एलिंग प्लानट द ग्रीन मूवमेंट्स रोल दैट इज रिटन बाय ननी पालखीवाला दैट इज ओरिजिनली एन आर्टिकल दैट वॉज पब्लिश्ड इन द इंडियन एक्सप्रेस ऑन ट्वेंटी फोर्थ नवंबर नाइनटीन नाइन्टी फोर द इशू दैट इज द इशू दैट ही रेज रिगार्डिंग द डिक्लाइनिंग हेल्थ ऑफ द अर्थ कंटिन्यू टू हैव रेलिवेंस so as i said this is the lecture number 2 i request all of you if you, if you have not listened to the lecture number 1 to please listen to it i have already posted that uh, at the school youtube channel as well as it is also posted at the edunext app right so let's start in the previous class my dear students i uh, in the previous lecture i talked about the famous book that is written by mr lester r brown uh, regarding uh, uh, the the global economic prospect the book entitled the global economic prospect in which he talks about the uh, the earth's principal biological systems uh, that are four according to him that is uh, fisheries forests grasslands and and croplands and now i will start uh, from the uh, from this line page number 45 ncert textbook in large areas of the world human claims on these systems are reaching an unsustainable level i only talked about the sustainable development that is development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the the ability of future generations to meet their needs that is without stripping the natural world of resources future generations would need right so in large areas of the world human claims on these systems are reaching an unsustainable level a point where their productivity is being impaired when this happens fisheries collapse forests disappear grasslands are converted into barren wastelands and croplands deteriorate talking about the word deteriorate it means to make inferior in quality or value in other words we can say in other word you can say impair so in a protein conscious and protein hungry world overfishing is common every day in poor countries local forests are being decimated very good word decimated means uh decimate means destroy a very large number of things something right so decimated means destroy local forests are being destroyed in order to put, uh, in order to procure firewood for cooking in some places firewood has become so expensive that what goes under the pot now costs more than what goes inside it this is a very important line my dear students what goes under the pot means the firewoods that are going under the pot the that goes under the pot cost more than what goes inside the pot means uh, the the shells that you are putting inside the pot the uh, for example the food items that you are uh, putting inside the pot right for example if you are cooking rice the things that will go under the pot is firewood and the things that will go in the pot is rice so that something that goes inside under the pot is expensive that uh, then the the materials that go on uh, in the pot since the tropical forest is in the words of in the words of mr myers the powerhouse of evolution several species of life face extinction as a result of its destruction it has been well said that forests precede mankind deserts follow the world's ancient patrimony patrimony means patrimony is an estate inherited from one's father or ancestor uh, in other words you can say uh, heritage heritage the world's ancient patrimony of tropical forest is now eroding declining at the rate of 40 to 50 million acres a year and the growing use of dung for burning deprives the soil of an important natural fertilizer the world bank estimates that a five fold increase in the rate of forest planting is needed to cope with the expected fuel fuel wood demand in the year 2000 see in the year 2000 it was expected by the world bank it estimated that a five fold increase in the rate rate of forest planting is needed to cope up with the expected fuel wood demand in the year 2000 james spath the president of the world resources institute said the other day we were saying that we are losing the forest at an acre a second but it is much is much closer to an acre and a half to a second you can imagine my dear students very important line i'm going to articulate i'm going to read from your textbook 
Article 48A of the Constitution of India provides that the state shall endeavor to protect and improve the environment and to safeguard the forests and wildlife of the country. But what causes endless anguish, anguish means extreme pain, distress or anxiety. What causes endless pain is the endless anguish is the fact that laws are never respected nor enforced in India. You are supposed to reflect on this statement if you see that yes, uh, it is true to say that laws are never respected nor enforced in India. You speak about in the favor, otherwise you speak that no, it is not like that. Okay. So for instance, the writer has given some of the examples where he proves that laws are never respected nor enforced in India. Uh, for instance, the constitution says that casteism, untouchability and bonded labor shall be abolished, but they flourish shamelessly even after 40 years, 44 years of the operation of the constitution. A recent report of our parliament's estimates committee has highlighted the near catastrophic depletion of India's forests over the last four decades. India, according to reliable data, is losing its forests at the rate of 3.7 million acres a year. Large areas officially designated as forest land are already virtually treeless. The actual loss of forests is estimated to be about eight times the rate indicated by government statistics. Right here. Turn the page please on page number 46. A three-year study using satellites and aerial photography conducted by the United Nations warns that the environment has deteriorated so badly that it is critical in many of the 84, 88 countries investigated. There can be no doubt that the growth of world population is one of the strongest factors distorting the future of human society, destroying the future of human society. Now through this, uh, these three, uh, three paragraphs, the writer talks about uh, the need to, uh, to control the population. There can be no doubt that the growth of world population is one of the strongest factors distorting the future of human society. It took mankind more than a million years to reach the first billion. That was the world population around the year 1800. By the year 1900, a second billion was added and the 20th century has added another 3.7 billion. The present world population is estimated at 5.7 billion. Every four days, the world population increases by 1 million. You can imagine. Uh, fertility falls and in, as incomes rise, education spreads and health improves. Thus, development is the best contraceptive. Contraceptive is what? Deliberate prevention is the best contraceptive, but development itself may not be possible if the present increase in numbers continues. Now the reason is, the rich get richer and the poor beget children which condemns them to remain poor. Beget means bring forth. The rich get richer and the poor beget children which condemns them to remain poor. More children does not mean more of workers, merely more people without work. In villages, many people think that more children uh, means more children mean more workers. It is not like that, my dear students. It is more children does not mean more workers, merely more people without work. It is not suggested that human beings be treated like cattle and compulsorily sterilized. But there is no alternative to voluntary pl family planning without introducing an element of coercion. Means force. C O E R C I O N means coercion means force, pressure, constraint. You know, in India, people, they are in a habit of not following the uh, laws implemented by the country, by the laws. So it is introduced and, uh, as, as because of some element of coercion is ne needed. Some element of coercion is needed to make the people follow the rules, follow the laws. The choice is really between control of population and perpetuation of poverty. Perpetuation means what? eternalize, immortalize, to make perpetual or cause to last indefinitely. So the choice is really between control of population and perpetuation of poverty. Either you control the population or remain in per perpetual po poverty, right? Choice is yours. The population of India is estimated to be 920 million today, more than the entire populations of Africa and South America put together. No one familiar with the conditions in India would with the conditions in India would doubt 
that the hope of the people would die in their hungry hutmans unless population control is given topmost priority. For the first time in human history, we see a transcending concern, surpassing concern, the survival not just of the people, but of the planet. For the first time we are thinking about, for the first time in, in human history, we started thinking about uh, the survival not just of the people, but of the planet. We have begun to take a holistic view. My dear students, I have already talked about the holistic view. That holistic view is of our, or relating to holism, or holistic ecology views humans and the environment as a single system. Or an, an ecological is of or relating to the environment of living things or to the uh, relationships between living things and their environments. Okay, dear. So for the first time in human history, we see a transcending concern, the survival not just of the people, but of the planet. We have begun to take a holistic view of the very basis of our existence. The environmental problem does not necessarily signal our demise. See, don't think that the environmental problems that are present that now that are present at the present juncture necessarily signal our demise. Not at all. It is our passport for the future. The emerging new world vision has ushered in the era of respectability. It is a holistic view, an ecological view, seeing the world as an integrated whole rather than a dissociated collection of parts. Industry has a most crucial role to play in this new era of responsibility. What a transformation would be effected if more businessmen shared the view of the chair chairman of DuPont, Mr. Edgar S. Woolard, who five years ago declared himself to be the company's chief environmental officer. He said, our continued existence as a leading manufacturer requires that we excel in environmental performance. Of all the statements made by Margaret Thatcher during the years of her prime ministership, none has passed so decisively into the current coin of English usage as her felicitous works, words. Felicitous means very well suited or expressed, apt. Felicitous words, no generation has a freehold on this earth. All we have is a live tenancy with a full repairing lease. Tenancy means the period of a tenant's occupancy or possession. That is tenancy. All we have is a live tenancy with a full repairing lease. In the words of Mr. Lester Brown, we have not inherited this earth from our forefathers. We have borrowed it from our children. Remember, my dear students, the words of Mr. Lester Brown when you were destroying the resources. Remember the words of Mr. Lester Brown that we have not inherited this earth from our forefathers. We have borrowed it from our children. Thank you, my dear students, for listening to the audio content. Uh, in the next class, I will discuss with you some of the important question and answers discussed in the chapter, given in the chapter, under the section, understanding the text and talking about the text. We'll also talk about thinking about the language and working with words and things to do. Uh, I hope you will go through the text. Thank you.